with regards to the wasiya, is it compulsory and does it have to be in accordance with the sharia or one can face it on his own? Even when you face it on your own, it must be in accordance with the sharia. Yani, there was a question in the beginning from Norman from the UK. And I said, the Prophet وسلم, said, لا وصية لوارث. What is wasiya to begin with? The wasiya is the will, the bequest. Before your death, you write down, this is what you want to be fulfilled after you die. That is your wish, your personal will. So, if you have money, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith, ما حق امرئ مسلم يبيت ليلتين له شيء يوصي فيه إلا ووصيته مكتوبة عنده تحت رأسه. So in belief, the Prophet ﷺ mandated in this hadith, if you're a wealthy person or you have some money that you're leaving behind, you should write your will. What do you want to do with this money? It doesn't mean that you're going to re-divide the shares of the inheritance away from the divine decree. What it means is that perhaps you want to give away some money. So that would be taken away from the inheritance before dividing the shares among the ears. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stated in Surah An-Nisa, whenever he divide, divided the shares and he said, this is the share of a wife if she has a, a child. And this is the share of a husband if he has a son, etc. So he says, مِن بَعْدِ وَصِيَّةٍ تُوصُونَ بِهَا أَوْدَيْنَ The shares must be divided, but after fulfilling the wasiya and the debt. And we normally begin with the debt, then the wasiya. And the wasiya should be, should be within one third of one's inheritance. If somebody left a hundred grains, you have up to um, 33,000 that you want to give away, you want to put it in a masjid, in a charity work, that's permissible. Not more than that. The rest, the two thirds, belongs to the ears. And you're not allowed to give any of the ears an extra share whether a wife or a mom or a dad or a child or a sister for a reason or you want to give them, give them in your life. Also the wasiya is not only concerning wealth, it's also concerning what you want to be uh, done after your death for innocence. I want to be buried in Muslim graveyard. I want that person to wash my body after my death. I want that person to lead my prayer. Or I advise you to be God-fearing after I die and to be united, not to uh, have discord among yourselves, to take care of your mom, to take care of my, uh, your grandparents, whatever. This is all wasiyah. This is all called wasiyah. 